Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today is going to be a little bit about your experience with Ubuntu and its desktop. So I want to show you a system tool here. Ah, I'm sorry, some preferences. I'm going to start out with customized look and feel. Now out of the box there, you can change your appearance of your desktop. Uh, Redmond, Raleigh, you just then click apply and you see the different things here happening. Back to Ubuntu default. And you can see that the uh, file manager here changed a little bit. You can customize some of the colors if you want to. Some things will mark that out. Watermark that out. You change the icons. These are some icons right out of the box. Oxygen. So you have a few choices for your experience with Ubuntu right out of the box. Um, clear looks. Olive. Give a little bit of a green look. Let's see. Apply. Apply. I'll keep the icons that way. I'm not going to do anything with the cursor or anything. So you can see you can change some of your appearance right out of the box. But this is also something I like to show here. Look at the redrawing of the picture and everything. It won't change until I undo, un, un, you know, it's finished where I'm moving to. And then I let go of my mouse and there, then it redraws. Let go of the mouse and then it redraws. I'm still holding the mouse but nothing's redrawn. So there's a setting we can use to fix that. So your experience will be a little bit better. This here also works with the themes, but also we'll go to Windows, Move and Resize. This button does not come checked out of the box. Why? I don't know. I wish they would. Then you hit close. Now watch what happens. Everything goes is normal. It redraws normally like it, like you would expect it to. One little setting can make so much difference in the experience and how you use your computer. Okay, that's one little setting. Now there's another setting in there too that can make the experience fun and then sometimes not so fun. Focus the windows when the mouse point when the mouse pointer moves over them. And let's let me show you what happens there. I'm just gonna minimize that. I'm gonna want that a few times. And I'm gonna start another application. Let's start leaf pad that I've used sometimes. Did you see that? I didn't click on it. No as I did is move the mouse over it. You see the uh, top menu, leaf pad on top, on the taskbar, leaf pad, PC man, and everything change in the uh, window border here, what's active and what's not active, is blue or gray, it's doing it automatically by itself, you don't want to come up. LDM. This year we have to go with our. You got to input our password. Now L light DM. As you can see, it's appearance panel, window position, miscellaneous. This here is all about when you go to login. 
here we go panel some of the things that are on the top of the panel the power button the claw the accessibility windows language sessions and, and the host name of the computer you can add things if you like or remove things if you like appearance you can even change your wallpaper and for me back up back up go to home if you remember this user share Ubuntu wallpapers that's all the default wallpapers I kept and you start using your own wallpapers like I have you make your own wallpaper folder so that's the wallpaper that's going to be in that's going to appear hmm. uh, did I put that in there? Do I? so you can select a file I'm going to select that you can select a file for your image just like you would on uh, Windows 7 and that's how it, this is how you would get there save and then I can close it now I can't show you that logging out would end the recording but all the same it works this is the this is where you would go to change your screen monitor settings I want to keep mine right where they're at. Printers, printers. Let me pause you for a second. I would like to show you printers. I got to get a USB cord. Okay, after a little research, I figured out what I have to do. Go to Synaptic Package Manager. Enter my password. And I have to search for what's called HPLIP. Most of, most of my distros that I use, like Mate, it automatically came already installed. I just had to connect the printer. I'm going to hit apply. Apply. Okay, all that's in there now. Exit out. Let's see what happens now. I'm wondering if I have to restart my whole system now. I hope not. There we go. Now I have the add button. That's exactly what I was looking for. So I don't have to restart the whole system. And there we go, we recognize my printer right out of the box. Just like my Ubuntu Mateta. I didn't know in Ubuntu you have to put in the HP LIP forward. Now it's going to automatically search for drivers off the internet and then install them into my Ubuntu. And that's it. Go forward and use the recommended ones. Um, that's what I'm going to do is to recommend once now and I'm just going to go forward again and then apply I'm not going to do a test page and that's it that's all you got to do install a print desktop preferences change my wallpaper here too 
Oh, desktop icons, you can turn on and on to different icons on your desktop. Appearance, wallpaper. And once again, as long as you remember this here, user share a bunch of wallpapers, that's where all the default wallpapers go. Unless you're like me, you make your own folder. I'll keep that wallpaper up for a while, for a, li for a little bit. Show menus provided by wallpaper. Ah, that's okay. I think this is all that's doing for, yeah, the different menus. No, I don't do that when I right click. You can see now it's not there. It just changes the menus when you right click. You can uh, do different things with the image. Just, I just keep it default. And so there you go, a few more things to help you have a better experience with the Ubuntu, become a better user, install on more apps and put sudo apt get install B O O M A G A. This is a virtual printer driver. And when it installs, I'll show you some of the things that it can do. It's real neat. Like I said, it's a virtual printer driver. It's not an actual print. It doesn't actually print. But what it does is something different. So this is the virtual printer driver itself. Here's where the fun is. Double sided printing off. If your printer can do double sided printing or can't, it would do it for you, even if it's just a single sided printer. Like mine is. And it, as it, when it prints, when you have these settings set, it will give you a notification to print. You print one side. You print all those pages on that one side. Then you take those other. Then you take those papers that are printed. And you turn and flip them upside down, and then it'll print the other side in order properly, so it all, all comes out the way it's supposed to. Just after, just as if your printer was meant to print on both sides. Let me see if I can demonstrate that without actually printing something. File. And I'm going to send it to here. And see it opens up this here kind of window. This is just the settings window for it. This is what, this is the preview window that it's going to print on. I'm going to set booklet, set it to booklet, and if I had a next sheet, so you see this would actually, this is actually like a one-fourth print page, that would be one of the sides, this would be the two insides, and this would be the, the other, the back side or the front side, so it's a virtual print driver. That gives flexibility to your your own existing printers that you have, especially if they can't do double-sided print print on both sides on themselves, because um, they're not physically able to do that. This gives you that opportunity and flexibility to do so. So I like to have that virtual print driver. Okay, uh, and that Ubuntu now has incorporated within it.
is arrow snap. You just press your super window key and you press the arrow button. Right, left, up, down. It's pretty neat. Arrow snap feature. 